Good morning, everybody. What's up? Uh, if you're watching this video, this is Otto's main comic haul crawl video. All right, so right now it's Wednesday, new comic book day. I'm in Damascata, Maine, which is what they consider Midcoast, Maine. I'm actually heading up to Oakland, Maine to a com comic shop called Comics, Cards, and Collectibles. I went last year. I got some good stuff. I am... Uh, Gonna go up, take some video from it. It's about an hour and 20 minutes north. So I'm going 240 minutes round trip to make this thing happen. But hey, when you're out in the wild, you gotta find comics. So uh, there's three shops that I'm gonna go to if you're watching this video. Comics, Cards, and Collectibles, dot com, co dot com Comics, and Casablanca Comics. I'm also gonna try to hit up some antique stores. I don't necessarily know how that will go, but it seems like all my boys from the West Coast are um, you know, getting good luck on that. So we'll see what happens. It's our family vacation, but I like to do this little road trip. It's a really good, cool store. He had some big books last time I was there. I sold some books. I got some money in the PayPal. Let's see what I can find. So uh, on behalf of all the three men in the basement, Nemesis Prime, Roger Levesque, David and Kay, I'm Everett Otto. Stay tuned for another great video from Three Men in the Basement. Peace. All right, so I'm driving. I've been driving for about an hour. I got about 14 miles to go. Just want to talk about some things. Uh, this week it's all null, right? Everything is null. Donnie Cates has done his great job to market everything like he has. Uh, seeing that, you know, null third printing shoot up, you know, the first one. Just unbelievable. Very thankful that Short Box Birdie gave me one for my birthday, at a, or no, Christmas, at a 9 8. Um, sitting on that. So, Lords of the Long Box was on last night. Wasn't able to join them, obviously. Um, don't know what I'm going to find here today, but I'm definitely going to be looking for some uh, Ultimate Spider-Man books. Hopefully try to get some spec books. Um, I'd like to buy a big book. I'd like to buy a big book for my collection. I'm going to talk about this in a later on video, but I think I need to start honing down what I'm collecting. Like What I have found myself doing is buying multiple copies of other books that I have to upgrade them, which is fine. I'm okay with that. But... I need to start getting other collections. So one collection that I'm thinking about, one area of books that I'm gonna to try to start picking up are the um, Strange Tales, the Ditko, Doctor Strange books and stuff like that. Uh, I definitely wanna start filling in those. Uh, you guys know I'm a huge Ditko fan. I'm gonna adjust this a little bit. And um, can you look at the view behind me? I mean, I tell you, I've been, I've been to a lot of states in America, but goddamn, Maine is a pretty state. And I didn't really think I'd fall in love with the state the way that I have, but Maine truly is a great state. So back to my personal collection, I think I'm going to get back to my Strange Tales. Uh, I'd like to start picking up some Journey into Mysteries. Again, they don't have to be all slab, you know, just decent raw books for my personal collection. Um, and I'm seeing it, you know, we just got word that East Coast Con is canceled for next year too. So are Comic Cons dead? Are swaps and online auctions really going to be every night on YouTube and stuff like that? I don't know. Only time will tell. I'm an optimistic person. I have faith in the human race. Um, I think that a term that I've used during this whole COVID pandemic is you have to be bulletproof. You know, you can't control what's going on in other states, uh, but you can control the people around you. You can control the environment around you, and you can, you can control your mood. And how you control your mood affects other people. So I think that's very important. So I've tried to stay true to this and stay bulletproof. Um, how have I done that? I've tried by exercising every day, try to stay positive, stay in a routine, know that, you know, my, you know, 49 years on this planet has been pretty good so far. And if this is an up and this is a down, then you just gotta go with it. I just can't believe that, you know, my eight-year-old kid is gonna to have to wear a mask for the rest of his life in certain stores, you know. The world has gotten so small that it's just been difficult. So, I'm kind of back and forth, but again, I've been on the road for a little bit. Kind of excited, this is the first leg of this tour. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna start doing a couple more videos a little bit more often, you know, once August rolls around. Um, you know, one thing that I'm dealing with personally is I lost my part-time job after 20 years. My restaurant is closed and I'm 99.9% .9 sure that it's not going to reopen for multiple reasons. So, you know, that is kind of hitting me and I've always had a side hustle. 
And so what is my next hustle gonna be? I don't know, but there's gonna be one. Cause I'm not just gonna let here, let there, sit here and pout and roll over. Uh, but I'm gonna share this all in a video and uh, it's gonna be about mental health in comic books. So, or how my mental health, how I've kept my mental health positive through comic books and through the comic book community. But that's about it. So I'm getting pretty close. You know, I've been talking for almost five minutes and you guys haven't seen any comic books. But the next video you see will be me at, at the comic book shop. All right, so thank you very much. And uh, let's see what happens. I have arrived. New comic book day at a new comic book store. Let's see what's going on. Girls, I've made it to Comics, Cars, and Collectibles. Um, they're actually in the process of moving to another store, so that's why there's some wall space, but I'll just go down, show you guys everything that we see right here. Lots of good books. All different ones, bronze, silver, copper, all that stuff right there. Got some metal men. Look at all these long boxes to dig through. All organized and priced. Great, great. Good to see. So there's no guessing. All right. We'll go over here. Got some nice silver keys, some hulks. There's Otto's backpack. More long boxes ready to go. We got some FF annuals, some Steranko. Look at that Sergeant Fury Holland Commander. That's a nice book. I missed my copy. Maybe I'll walk out with that. Let's see. More long boxes full of stuff. We've got Danny over here working hard. Hello. Danny, say hi to the YouTube community. And we've got Dan, the senior Dan, running the show. Dan, you're the owner and proprietor of this wonderful store. Yes, sir. Thank you very much for stopping by today. Absolutely, absolutely. I'm gonna, Appreciate it. I'm going to take a little video of all your phenomenal wall books up here. We got, look at that Zatanna 5.0, a book that's trending up. Another book you don't see often, Batman 121. First Mr. Freeze. We've got a 9-8 X-Men, some cat. Look at that, the trilogy. Hulk 180, 181, 182, and X-Men 94. Oh, we've got a nice book right there. And down here, we've got some more books in the cases. Lots of keys, all graded. First Annihilus, 7.5. Over here, we got some nice like Spider-Man books. And we got some X-Men. Some Immortal Hulk. Oh, we've got a Venom 1, 9.4. Got more stuff. So they're in the process of moving to a bigger store. That'll be good for me for no for next year when I stop in. Danny's working hard boxing everything. Danny, how many long boxes have you moved so far? Um, so today we're going to be moving the new these new boxes. Yeah. We already moved almost everything over fifty boxes from the upstairs. Okay, fifty Maybe boxes. About 500. Oh, five hundred. Oh, five hundred. Jeez. Mostly 80s, and, right? Mostly 80s and 90s, but oh, I'd love to this stuff those. is um, the new stuff since we last opened. We're going to be sorting through these when we nice. get to the new store. Great. All right. Well, I'm going to take a minute to go dig through some of these long boxes, and maybe I'll get Danny and Dana give me a little rundown of the history of their store. So, so guys, you're in for a special treat right now. I've got Mr. Dan and his son Danny. We're at Comics, Cars, and Collectibles, right? And we are in. Where Oakland, Maine, right o now. Oakland, Maine, right now. But you're moving next month. Next month, bigger shop. Mm -hmm. Bigger, twice as big. Twice as big. Love it. More long boxes. A lot of more long. Boxes. Large, lots of more wall space, stuff like that. Oh yes, nothing awesome. but wall space. Forty foot down each row. Right, nothing unbelievable. But wall space. Unbelievable. So the comic book industry since the pandemic for you has been good, bad. It's been the same. The same. Okay, well, that's good, right? We like a yeah. push, right? We like a push. We like keep it even. Uh, when I walked in, we started talking. You said that you had how many copies of? Uh, that, uh, the first null going out? 36. I almost, fell out. I almost walked out of here. I said, oh my God. He's got 36 copies of this going to CGC. Are you going to pre-screen them all, or are you just going to whatever grade is the grade? Um, I was going to pre-screen them, but as I started looking at them, yeah. I think there's 30 plus 9.8. Oh my God, that's fantastic. So the rest I'll just take as right. whatever it comes in as. So we were having a great conversation about setting the CGC, and you even noticed that like six weeks ago, uh, the turnaround time was unbelievable, right? 
Yeah, it's. Uh, I think it was with no new issues coming out in, in Midtown and all of them not sending in their pre yeah. copies. Right, right. I think they had so much free time, and I sent out uh, some moderns, yep. and they got them Friday, and by the next Friday, they shipped them they out. They shipped graded. them out. Right. Unbelievable. Yeah, so that's great. Well, I'm having a great time right here. We've got a lot of books up on the wall. We've got a couple books that I'm looking at. So this is Dan. His son, Danny, is loading a car. Danny, come on and say hi to the YouTube community, because you seem to be working hard, right? Yeah. He's my uh, grunt worker. Yeah, come on in, Danny. Come right Get in the middle in right here. here. Yeah, Hello. there you go. All right, so, Dan, you've been packing up long boxes? Yes. All right, so over 30 boxes we've moved? Um, these boxes, there's probably about 20 or 30, 20, 25. Yeah, nice, today. Nice. Right, yeah. now, being uh, a son in a comic book, you've been indoctrinated into this comic book culture, since right? I, since I was born. Yeah. Right, right. So you've pretty much grown up around comics and stuff mm -hmm. like that. And what, what's your favorite comic book character? <laughs> I actually don't. No. He's not huge into He's video games. He's video games, okay. So now, are you buying and selling video games on your own as an yes. entrepreneur? Okay, awesome. Now, are you finding that, like, are, are you hunting them down? Are you people coming up to you? How are you finding them? Like, usually, not to give all your secrets. I don't want to know your Usually finding secrets. them online. Oh, online, okay, right. And knowing what to look for? Yeah. Okay. So this is an itch that I haven't scratched yet, use video games. Um, but I did buy a sealed X-Men book that I'm going to uh, show in my next unboxing, so I did buy that. Uh, it was a Sega Genesis game. It wasn't, like, an NES or something like that, mm -hmm. so... Uh, so that's awesome. So now you're doing that too, and you're hunting them down. Yeah. Are you getting them graded? Um, not particularly, because grading for co uh, for video games is much more lucrative than um, grading for comic books. Gotcha. Okay. So for grading for video games, the, it needs to have the package. Yep. Plus, it has to need the wrapping Correct. on the package. Right. And where do you find and that stuff? It's very uncommon to okay. find packaging with the wrapping around it. Right. Right. So. To get a good price for those, you need yeah. to actually have the wrapping, which is very hard to find. Right, I believe it. I believe it. But I'm sure you'll find it because, I mean, if, if your dad's a hunter and stuff like that, you're digging. So, all right. So, we're here. We're taking a look at it. I've got um, some people are walking into the store, so I don't want them to not lose their time. So, guys, thank you from the half of three men in the basement. Thank you for letting me come into yep. your store. No problem. Thank you for your long boxes. Appreciate like, it. This is my once a year tour. I look forward to this. <laughs> and in the middle of this, I have my kids calling me in a panic. I go, I don't have time for this. Dad has to get away. Dad wants to go dig through log boxes. Deal with this later. So, um, absolutely, guys. It was yep. great meeting you. Great seeing you. Thank you very much for letting me come in. I appreciate it. Thanks and, for coming uh, by. Absolutely, guys. So, thank you very much. And I'll tell you what I get when we leave. So here it is, dot com comics. I'm in Freeport. You can see everything right there. Cool neons lit up all the way back around here. And I'm gonna go ahead in and uh, see what I can find. I already see some Marvel treasuries that I love. All right, so here's dot com comics, and I'll be heading in. Side, I'm checking out all the dollar books. I think I'm gonna do some digging in there. Got all the t-shirts set up. We got some magic. We have Dan working to help. Dan, how you doing today? Too bad, yourself? Thank you very much for letting me film in this great store. I'm appreciative of it. All right, we got lots of figures over here. I already saw a Wolverine figure I'm probably gonna have to get. Got some free comic books from Free Comic Book Day. He's got some Marvel treasuries. I'm digging these, you guys know I'm a fan of these. Oversized. Up here, we've got some more stuff. Nice sets put together. More books right here. Some cool statues and figures. Mm. 
nice stand right here. Nice setup right there. Gonna dig through some of this stuff. All currents. Lots of Star Wars stuff. Ooh, some cool pops. cabinet book of stuff right here i've looked through a lot of this really good stuff great prices on a lot of it some of the stuff i might be picking up probably picking up and then all the walls right there dan's holding down the show behind here yes. all right got a lot of books dan's got two hulk 180s huh yeah we we, we tend to have more than that yeah times awesome great book to have oh, i didn't see the preacher up there x-men up there some jimmy olsen really good stuff right here so, so here we go so we got all the marvel treasuries up on top lots of good wall books right here i've already pulled a couple off there might actually go after that iron fist but look at all these cabinets right here all loaded books in front daniel this is all a custom made co uh, cabinet right here for your store awesome so it goes all the way down there this is my second time being here and I've dug through all of these, found some good stuff. Pulled it right out, it's all organized, priced out, makes me very happy. I don't have to guess on the prices. All very fair prices, we got some Hulk stuff right here. If I had room for this classic Star Trek, I'd buy this right here. That is awesome. More figures, different assortments. So I did a lot of video of the store right here. I've got Dan right here. And Dan's understanding how many days a week do you work? I work six out of seven. Six out of seven yeah, days. I'm basically okay. the only one in here. Right. So. so, of course, I came in. The first thing I asked for was Dark Horse Star Wars. and Yeah, we, we, we get a lot of that in the, for the dollar style books. But lately, yeah. those things have been climbing because been, of the, the popularity of that. Right. It's just been flying off. And, of course, I asked about the Clone Wars, number one, versus Ahsoka. That's a ghost. And then oh, yeah. we... Uh, Talk a little bit about the null and all that stuff's coming in and out. Yeah, the Venom stuff is hot, hot right now. Yeah. Especially with, like, the, the new character that they just introduced. Um, right. You know, and that, like, we can't keep those books in stock. You can't stock. keep them in stock, right? Um, it's just people all over the place. Yeah. The geek stuff's crazy right it's now. It's crazy, right, right. So you said the geek, what did you say? What was geekery. Your, the geekery, right? I love that. The like, geekery is going crazy right now, and I think we can all agree. Uh, whether it's because of no Comic Cons or yeah, it's just stuff like that. A little people bit more just, disposable income, yeah. a little bit more free time. Right. You know, people are, need something to enjoy. Yeah. So fun fact about Dan is as I was talking to Dan, I asked him if he was a comic book guy. He said a video game guy. And that was interesting. And then he blew a crazy fact on me. You have how many? Can I ask you how many cabinets you have? I, have, like, I collect arcade machines. I have 30 right now. Oh, my God. 30. 30 arcade machines and you put them together. Yeah. You Piece Do some together. restore, you know, repair, right. that kind of stuff. Oh, yeah. that's incredible. So the geek, geek the geekosity is live here uh, at Dot .com Comics in uh, Freeport, Maine. So I appreciate the owners for letting me take a video. I'll be back in thanks, uh, around Thanksgiving. And when I'm done with this, I'll show you what I picked up. So thank you very much for watching, Dan. Thank you for your time, okay? Blank of Comics. Coming in. I always love being in here. Even Captain America wears a mask in Casablanca Comics. That's important. And as you walk in, you've got all their books. All the neat, complete sets. One of the things I love about Casablanca Comics is there's so much room. You don't feel like you're backed up against boxes or anything like that. So it's always been fun. Lots of Gundam stuff here. I'm sure some of fancies. And then we've got their display that's under construction. Some good books down here, some pint glasses, some figures, more Gundams. If I didn't have a car packed with a trailer, I'd pick up some of these boxes because those are great. And the iconic Casablanca neon sign all the way around. Graphic novels. Other neat stuff. We've got everything over here. Long boxes dug in deep. Spent some time going through all this. That was 
a blast. Discounted statues. More stuff behind the counter. Need stuff right there. Always a good time. Everybody, so I've done some digging and digging out of the back room, working hard is Rick, the owner of Castle Blake and Comic Tricks. It's so good to see you again. Good today. to see you, man. I'm so happy to be here. You know, and as he walked out, you guys can't see it, but Rick is wearing the ultimate geek shirt that I see today. Fin Fang Fu, right? <laughs> we absolutely love that character. Yeah, you know? oh, absolutely. Who doesn't love big dragons, right? Yeah, you know, any of those big Kirby monsters okay. are just fantastic. Fantastic. And that's why I love coming here so much, because there's such a retro feel about the store and all the nostalgia that's in it. So Rick was actually in the back packaging up books, getting them out? Or? Yep, yep. Okay. Um, I'm constantly processing collections. Yep. I mean, what my role in the store is at this yep. point is dealing with the vintage books. Gotcha, okay. Um, Laura, my wife, yep. handles um, the new books. Okay. And um, we have, you know, Mel me and Dave and Matt all working, um, doing various things. And right. it's a great yeah. team you got here. I usually, yeah. I, typically, I come here on Sundays. And who's usually works yeah, on Sundays? Usually, Dave it's on Dave. Sunday. Yep. Yep. Okay, don't tell Dave I missed him, but I okay. okay. tell Dave I, I missed him, but I couldn't head out another day. And um, as we were talking, you told me you had a couple big books out to CGC right now, huh? Yeah, I've got a really high grade uh, Hulk 181 out oh, there boy. and a 180. Uh, yeah. I mean, we're constantly buying collections, right? Right. And, um, I probably have a hundred books coming back from, from CGC, CGC next really? week. Yeah. Wow. Okay. We're, we're submitting a lot. Okay. And yeah. the turnaround time was, you know, we were submitting moderns a while ago, but this turnaround time has definitely gotten a little bit longer, but have you noticed that at all? With I've stuff? noticed that, um, it's gotten a little bit better. Good. Okay. We uh, like the, that. the thing, the thing that was really bad was like the, the value and economies were taking months, months, right? Like, uh, like half a year. Know, yeah. Right. And that's really improved. In yeah. fact, I had a, a couple of value books. I sent like three weeks ago that are already in the queue for grading. Perfect. We like that. We got so, that. So that looks really good. Yep. I'm really excited because when I get home, um, I've got a book that I submitted. Uh, a friend of mine, our friends at Rocket Comics, submitted a book at the only con this year, C2E2. Yeah. And it was Foom 10, which was the X-Men book. Yep. And that took forever. Right, that book is, you know, I'm a huge X-Men fan. That book was such a key for me, and I've been waiting and waiting, and it was a gorgeous copy, so I can't wait to see that book, you know? I, I so. love Foom. I, I, I was a member of Foom. Yeah. I had my card. I had the poster. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. that's yeah. awesome. And I've got all my original issues from back when I, I must have been very young when I was doing When you got film. that? Mm -hmm. So it was very funny. I was watching, I follow you guys on uh, social media and everything. You found a book that had how many covers? Seven. Seven. My God. Hold on okay. a second. All right. So we're, guys, we're going to go get this book. This is a seven copy book. When he was going over it, his quote was, how many times do you see one or two covers? But now this book had seven. So that's got to be a white unicorn, you know? And uh, just really cool. As you can see, some of the cool books behind us. Warlocks, all the prints up here. So Rick went out and back and got this. Okay. So this, Oh, really? Archie? It's, okay. um, it's a Harvey. Yeah. So let's see, there's one cover, two covers. Good Lord. Three. Yeah. I got to be careful. There's four. Yeah. There's five. Yeah. There's six. Yeah. There's seven. Seven covers, my God. And the book looks really, really nice. It is a nice, nice looking it's book. A nice looking you know, book. covers are sharp. You know, when you were doing that, I actually thought that was a modern book. No. Nope. Because I knew, but it's. Look at that. Unbelievable. So, um, I, I had a um, Amazing Spider-Man 361 with three covers. Okay. And I was really excited yep, about yep. that. I'm more excited about this. Yes, right, right because it, look at this Harvey book. This was probably... In 1972, 72, probably. 72, right. Um, and, well, I, I was opening it up to look, but I have to get through all the covers. Right. Yeah, 1972. Unbelievable. So, And that's funny, though, because that just shows me, you know, part of your story is just your level of attention to detail. So not only are you digging through the, all the bigger books, but you're even taking time to look through the Harvey books to see that they're oh, complete and whatever you might have and stuff like that. Yeah, so. like, so I, I bought this collection. Yep. And it was, like, high-grade, mostly uh, 70s kids books. Yeah. And most people were like, oh, yeah, it's kids stuff, throw right. it in a bargain bin. The Scooby-Doo number one from Hanna-Barbera yep. there that was beautiful, yep. that, that's off being graded right now. And really? that's a book that most people would just say, oh, yeah. Who cares? I, right. And that's a, you know, three, four hundred, five hundred dollar yeah, book. Right, right. There there's some really great stuff from that vintage. And you think about it, this stuff is fifty years old. Right. A lot of it. Yeah. So. 
Right. And and we're, we're both working very carefully to keep our masks. Yes, that's right. That? So you can see it. Everybody yep. had a hand sanitizer. Laura's working very hard to make sure everybody has their hand sanitizer when they walk in. Oh, yeah. We, we've got a sign at the door yep. um, with, with Batman uh, yep. saying the reason I wear the mask is to protect those around me right, or something absolutely. like that. And then it signed Batman. Yeah, so. I love it. So this has been a great time. We've been walking around. Um, so with no cons coming around, how have you guys had to adjust? Have you done a lot more online sales? I noticed you did some sales on Facebook Live, we, right? We do Facebook Live every Wednesday night at 7 o'clock. Perfect. You guys should know that, okay? Yeah, every and, Wednesday night. And they're fun. Okay. We, we have a blast with them. And, you know, I dig through the back issues, find some stuff, or yep. if I get new collections coming in, uh, we run from like 7 to 8 every okay. Wednesday night. Perfect, perfect. On okay. the store Facebook page, and it's it's just kind of freewheeling. Yeah, I love it. it. it it's great, and I love coming here. Um, I discovered this store four or five years ago, so now every time we're up in the great state of Maine, I always make this my last stop to kind of end my trip. So this has been a great time. Rick, Rick's on, you guys, Castle Blanket Comics on Instagram, Facebook, right? Yep. All the social medias. And you do have two stores, though. See, I've never, and your other store is having a sale tomorrow, right? I wish. Uh, or yeah, but that, that's also an online sale. Oh, it's an online okay, sale. Okay, so okay. What, what we do the live sale here in Portland. Yep. Where I'm your other store is where? I'm sorry, I should have brought that up. Um, the other store is Northwind to Maine. Yep. And that's been around, we've both been around since 1987. Wow, so. okay, right, right. Um, but what they do is on Sundays, they have a sale that posts as a photo gallery on Facebook. Oh, gotcha, And then gotcha, basically gotcha. You, you claim the items fr Interesting. from Interesting. Oh, that's neat, that's neat. Because they're not set up to do the live sale. Correct. We, we have our, our high-tech studio here, which is a table in a box. Yeah, right, and exactly. Like, when we first started Three Men in the Basement, the joke was I had a selfie stick in my phone. Yeah, pretty you know, much. Duct tape yeah. to it. Now I've got a fancy iPad, and yeah. I still don't know how to work. So, But that's awesome. So, Rick, I appreciate you coming to see you, as uh, always. Always great to see you, Yeah, man. I'll show you the polls that I got. There's some variants I'm going to pick up. I got a nice X-Men book. So um, on behalf of Three Minor Basement, Rick, I really appreciate you spending the time to, take, to talk to us. And uh, I'll put all the information for the stores in the YouTube video. So thank you very much for watching.